Hey, using external Python libraries in Touch Designer can be a pain in the butt, but there are a couple of options to make your life easier. The first one is Anaconda. Anaconda is a really powerful tool, widely used within the data science community. It allows you to create and manage virtual environments. You can download it from the official website, and once you install everything, just open the Anaconda prompt. Here you have options like saying conda env list to list all your existing environments. Next you can call conda create minus n, then goes the name of the environment and you can specify the python version you want to use. For the latest touch designer builds it's 3.7.2. If you call conda env list again you'll see the newly created environment. Once you have it, you can activate it by saying conda activate the, the name of the environment, which is in my case test, and you'll see that test is now your active environment. Here you can say conda list to list all your installed Python libraries, or install a new one, for example saying conda install numpy. If you call conda list again, you'll see that you have the numpy installed. If it happens so that conda can't find a package you want, like here with the SPG path tools, you can still go the usual pip install SPG path tools. And then if you write conda list, you'll see that this package was in fact installed using pip. The only thing left now is to utilize that environment in Touch Designer. And you can do that by appending your Python's environment variables. Start by adding and execute that. Here you need to import your system module, also import OS module. And all you need to do is to append your system environment path. So here write os.environpath plus equals os.pathsep for the path separator. Uh, here you can use an f string. So the path is c double backslash users you can specify your username in a variable, mine is iftar. So you add the variable to the path in curly brackets, double backslash again, anaconda, and then goes the name of your environment, so let's define another variable and put it in curly brackets. And finish with DLLs folder. Duplicate this line and instead of DLLs, point it to the library's bin folder in the end. The final thing you want to do is to append your system path. It goes almost the same. C users, username and curly brackets, anaconda3, and your end name lib and site packages folder. Don't forget to add your existing system path in the end and that's it. Oh, I have a typo here. The variable is called username, not user. So if you add another execute that and try to import, let's say, hacks to RGB from SVG path tools. It may take a couple of seconds first, but then you'll see that hacks to RGB function is available and here's the pointer to the memory. If you want to go a bit fancier than that, you can collapse this execute that into a base comp, add a custom parameters page, string parameters like username and env name, and a pulse, call it reset. Once you've done with it, dive inside this comp and add parameters that and parameters job. You can link the reset channel onto this pulse and edit your script to get the username and the end name directly from the parameters that.
Now you can rename the base comp to Conda Env and save it into your palette or as an external docs. Once you want to use it, just drop it into your project and click reset. I'll close and reopen the Touch Designer project before you import any external libraries. So that's the Anaconda way. It's good when you know that you always want to use some libraries or if you want specific versions of those libraries that can interfere with your other Python installations. But what if you just want to use one library and don't want to go through setting up a virtual environment. Then there is this really useful talks made by Alpha Moonbase. A huge shout out to him for sharing this component. You can download it from the Oli web page. The, the link is in the description. Just drop it into your project. It may take a few seconds to unpack the pip utility. Let's add and execute that and try to import SVG path tools. You're gonna see this error message because the SVG path tools does not exist. So if instead of doing standard import, you write, for example, SVG equals op td underscore pip, which is just a reference to this operator, and then call import underscore module and specify the name of the module. Here it's SVG path tools. You'll get this library installed directly into your project folder which also means you can zip it and send it over to your friend and they won't have to go through the pain of setting up an identical environment. But even if you share this project on its own, it's gonna unpack that pip and install all requested modules for you. It's still pretty fresh and has this issue where if you have a pip installed with your Touch Designer's Python, it won't work properly for the first time. So in that case, you just wanna go inside this comp and just command this return in the method called install pip. But I think it's something that's gonna be fixed pretty soon. So there you have it, at least two ways of managing external Python libraries. Uh, if you know any other options, please share them in the comments. I'm also gonna leave here a link for the Anaconda tutorial by JADXS. I hope I pronounced the nickname correctly. Uh, this tutorial goes into a bit more detail. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.